Beyond the Mic with Sean Dillon. We're joined on the star line by an Emmy-nominated actress you saw on Northern Exposure, Eight Seconds, and many other projects. Now, she's starring in the series Going Home, streaming on Pure Flix. We welcome Cynthia Geary. Hey, Sean. Thank you. Cynthia, let's go beyond the mic. You have a 16- and 22-year-old daughter, Liv and Lila, and been raising them while acting on the side. What went through your mind to make this decision to step away at the height of your career and now to return back? I always wanted to be a mom, and I was really lucky to have parents that always put our family first and put the kids first and, and made their children the top priority. So it was not something that I really had to think hard about. Um, wow. You know, that when my oldest daughter was born, Olivia, it, it just, you know, I wanted to be with her. I wanted to volunteer in her school. I wanted to know her teachers. I wanted to know her friends. And I feel so lucky that I was able to do that, to be, I was super active in the P- PTA with of my kids and who are now 22 and 16. Um, that I, so a little time has passed, but, um, but I just, it's such a special time. And I now look back on it and go, it went so fast. My, my oldest just graduated from, from screenwriting and at USC. And um, I, I mean, I remember the holding her in my lap as a baby and, and it seems like it was a couple of weeks ago. I mean, it just, it's hard to believe how fast it goes. And I feel so lucky that I got to experience every minute of it. Cynthia, do you want them to join with you in the acting world or you keep away? No, 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 no. Don't do that. Um, I, I want my kids to do what makes them happy and, you know, to, to follow their dreams and their passion. Uh, My oldest graduated from screenwriting at USC. So, you know, she is kind of following in my footsteps. I think she's, more talented, smarter than me. So um, I think she's going to be, have a fantastic career. Uh, but I've, I've always encouraged them to do what they love because then it doesn't feel like work. And, um, and you don't mind working 80 hour weeks when you're doing something that that's a passion that you love. So um, I, in my experience in this business has always been, great and positive and i feel really lucky to have had some success going home deals with hospice care you spent time at a hospice how did that experience watching people have one last grab at life that last experience before they move on to their next life change you oh sean i this was such an amazing amazing project for me i learned so much I hadn't had any experience with hospice. My parents are in their nineties and, 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 and doing well. And, and, you know, knock on wood, I'm, uh, I'm lucky and fortunate in that way, but it has changed my perspective on, on death. I went to the hospice that our show is based on in Spokane, Washington and met the nurses and got to spend a little bit of time asking them questions and talking to them. And the people who do this work are called. I mean, it is, they're amazing human beings and they give a gift to the families and the people that are transitioning. And it's, it's their whole goal is to, for them to have a good death or a, a peaceful, beautiful passing. And I think it, it's changed the way I think about death. I mean, I, it's, I now see it as, you know, it's a part of life that we're all going to experience and over and over again with our loved ones. And I hope that I can take what I've learned from this show and view it as an opportunity to, to have closure and spend the last time with my loved ones and quality time and, make it a, a you know a, a beautiful positive memory cynthia geary joined us beyond the mic and it's time for the rocking aid eight random questions answer with the first <laughs> thing that comes to your mind there is no pressure okay favorite song to sing oh um uh 
I sing the score of Sound of Music to my kids growing up. Um, my favorite things. When was the last time you went to an Old Miss sporting event? Oh, God. Too long ago. Way too long. I mean, it's probably been 25 years. Do you like to read or write more? Uh, both. I do both. I feel like right now I'm writing a lot. I'm, I'm on the computer a good bit. Other than Northern Exposure, your favorite role? Um, boy, uh, let's see. Um, well, doing eight seconds with Luke Perry was was pretty darn cool. Luke is a great guy, and I, I miss him. I think we all miss Luke. Your favorite theme park ride is? <laughs> wow, that is that is a good one. Um, Disneyland, um, um, Soaring Over California. Very nice. Who doesn't like soaring? What brings out your silly side? <laughs> um, uh, let's see. Well, my kids, for sure. Cynthia, who was the last person you hugged? My daughter, yesterday. It's 7 o'clock in the morning, so I haven't actually seen. I've been in my office, but usually in the morning. Do you have a sweet tooth or a savory tooth? Savory. It's time for the back half with actor Cynthia Geary. Her latest project, Going Home on Pure Flix, joins us beyond the mic. Cynthia, your love of the Pacific Northwest grew after moving out there for Northern Exposure. What makes it so special for you? It's really the most beautiful place uh, I've ever been. I and mean, we have water and lakes and mountains and, and huge trees. I live on a lake and I water ski. Um, um Whenever I can, my boat sits in my backyard. I have eagles sitting in trees in my backyard and great blue heron. Uh, it's made me much more of an outdoors person. Even growing up in Mississippi, um, while we you know, got outside and, and did a lot, it was hot and muggy. And the weather here, even though it rains a lot, I, I now, you know, don't mind the rain, but I hike and run with my dog, Charlie. Uh, so I, I'd say I'm a, a huge appreciate, appreciator, that's not a word, um, of, of nature and wildlife. It's time for one big question with Cynthia Geary beyond the mic. Cynthia, you've helped refugees from Ukraine. How has helping them made you feel about the comfort that you have in your own world? Uh, fortunate extremely extremely fortunate to live in this country and um i i my heart breaks to see what what these people are going through and and how strong and resilient they are but it's you know i'm watching the news just like everybody else just it it's heartbreaking she has a savory tooth loves water skiing and mrs luke perry she wants you to see Going Home on Pure Flix. Cynthia Geary, thanks for taking the time to talk with us today. Oh, thanks so much, Sean. And that, my friends, is a Beyond the Mic Shortcut. <laughs>